Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode with me Danny and Google Tag Manager advanced tutorial. Today's tutorial is about custom dimensions. Basically, you have some fields that you want to push to Google Analytics, but these fields don't exist as part of the normal Google Analytic dimensions. So what do you end up doing? You can use Google Tag Manager and a bit of magic and make this happen. The ingredients are basically five steps. Number one, we are going to uh, basically create custom dimensions inside of Google Analytics. Number two, we are going to create a data layer inside of our CMS. For example, if we are using WordPress, we will create a JavaScript bundled uh, variables, which will be pushed onto uh, Google Analytics with the particular fields that we want to uh, push. And number three, we're going to go to Google Tag Manager and start by creating uh, user defined variables. And then we are going to create our usual tags and triggers. Basically, there's only one tag and one trigger. So let's get uh, started by going into uh, Google Analytics, going to the admin part. And the way you create custom uh, dimensions is by going into custom definitions. Underneath it, there's custom definitions. There is custom dimensions. So I'll click that. And Google Analytics gives me around 20 custom dimensions that I can create and use. Uh, now, for our particular example, what we are going to push uh, to Google Analytics in the form of custom dimensions is information about our visitors. For example, uh, whenever somebody logs into my website, I know that they are either one of three uh, membership types. They could be silver, gold, or bronze. And I also would like to know if the visitor is logged in uh, meaning if they have used their username and password and logged into our, my website or they are browsing as guests. A third dimension would be around um, whether they are paid members or they are free members. Again, uh, I will go ahead and start by creating my new uh, custom dimension. The first one, I will name it Visitor membership type it's of type uh, session and this is something you need to understand whenever you're creating a custom dimension you have the concept of scopes it could be a hit a session a user or a product for this example we're using a session what that means is Whenever somebody logs in, I will not change the variables as long as they are within the same session. For example, if uh, they log in as a membership gold and they go about and started browsing other pages of my homepage, within that same visit or that same session, I'm going to give them the same value for the visitor membership type, which is whatever membership type they belong to and it's active so i'll create my first uh dimension and this is uh whenever you create a dimension be mindful of the number that appears here which is the index number which we will be using at a later stage so this is my second or number two again it's number two because i already have a custom dimension created earlier from a previous video but it's really our first one but you have to be mindful of this number here Perfect. Let me go ahead and start creating my second one, which is visitor is logged. Similarly, it's a scope session. And now it's index number three, as you can see here. And now I'm creating my third one. Which is visitor is paid member
Perfect. As you can see, we have created our three custom dimensions, visitor membership type, visitor is logged, and visitor is paid member. And their indexes, respectively, are number three, two, three, and four. That's for number one, the first step that we need to implement inside of Google Analytics. Now, I would like to go into my CMS and usually I would I would put the piece of code or the data layer inside of my footer. You can also do it through web hooks and hook it up into uh, the particular uh, action which is associated with logging the user into WordPress. And this is how my custom uh, code would look like. Let me see here. So this is the data layer that you need to create and push inside of your CMS. It is, again, it's a JavaScript uh, by Google following the certain format, which is data layer equal. And then you push that uh, data layer, passing in all the uh, different custom dimensions that you would like to pass. For example, I'm passing my visitor membership type as silver, visitor is logged, I'm passing a string of logged and visitor is paid member. Again, I'm passing a string of paid. Obviously, these three values need to be uh, somehow uh, coded inside of your CMS because they will be variables and they will be depending on the particular user that is logged. And finally, after passing these three uh, particular dimensions, I'd need to pass the event, which is visitor logged. So whenever this JavaScript is fired inside of my web page, the event will get uh, fired and it will respectively call that chain of trigger inside of Google Tag Manager. Let's find out how we go about our Google Tag Manager part. Remember, the code that we just uh, put here needs to look something like this. Obviously, if your uh, CMS is PHP, you would be, uh, it would be either based on sessions or based on uh, some kind of functions that will return variables for you depending on the user. So for example, visitor membership type, we, we would echo GA client type or GA client logged or client paid. And these could be a variety of variables defined or calculated from previous steps here. So, in essence, I would copy this code and paste it inside of my CMS into the footer, for example, somewhere around this place. So whenever somebody loads a page, I would know who they are if they are logged in. I would know what kind of membership they are and my respective data layer will show the respective values and will push it into uh, Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager. So let's get to Google Tag Manager. As I mentioned before, I would start this, uh, this time by creating a user-defined variables. So I can go ahead and do this. Let's go here into my user defined variables into this section. And I would create new and I'll give my first variable a similar name so that I don't create confusion for myself. So I would say visitor membership type. Uh, click on the configuration. It is of type data layer. So I have to find the data layer variable here. And it's asking me here data layer variable name. So it should follow the exact naming convention which we have set before, which is visitor membership type. If we don't have a set default value, we can leave it as empty. 
and I can save this. And I go ahead and do the rest. Again, my second variable, I'm calling it the same fashion, same way. Visitor is logged. It's of type data layer. And the data layer variable name, as you can see here, this is the variable name. So this should coincide with with this code. And if I'm doing visitor is logged, I need to get this one and copy and paste it here. So these two names are really similar, at least in my case. I wanted to make it easier for myself. And I'm creating my third one, which I'm just going to conveniently copy it from here as visitor is paid member. Go to my data layer, put that. There you go. Now that I've created my custom uh, variables inside of Google Tag Manager, going to head into tags and start by creating my custom tag which I will call for this for the sake of this example G A U tag dash custer custom visitor dimensions tag configuration it's of the type universal analytics and Google Analytics I'm going to choose my GA tracking ID. Now, regarding the uh, tracking type, it's of type event. And here's where I need to uh, complete these four or three elements, starting with the category. Just going to say logs. The action I'm going to say visitor logs. And for the label, I'm going to select one of my data layer uh, custom dimensions, which is the visitor membership type. And because I don't want it to affect my bounce rate, I'm going to select non-interaction uh, non hit as true because it's not supposed to interact. Now I head to more settings and this is where I can see there is custom dimensions. I need to fill the information right here by starting with add custom dimension. For the index, I'm going to make sure that the number here corresponds to the number that is here. So starting with the visitor membership type, the index is 2. So I'm going to say number two, and I'm going to call my dimension value, which is visitor membership type. That's great. I add a new one. Number three is basically visitor is logged. So index is three. Again, calling my visitor is logged. And my third, which is custom index 4 is nothing but visitor is paid member. Great. Now I go down here. Let's see, what else do I need to do? What is there in advanced? Advanced. There. You have to make sure that tag firing is once per event. And if that's fine, we move on into the trigger. So we are going to create the trigger. When do we need that particular tag to fire? I'm going to um, start a new one. So I create on the plus. I'm calling this visitor logged event trigger. Going into my configurations, it's of type custom event. So I click on this. Now, the event name should correspond to the one in my data layer. So if I go back to my code here, this is my event name 
in the data layer. So I need to copy this and make sure that the event name is the same. So whenever I push a data layer with the event name visitor logged, this particular trigger will respond and will actually lead into the tag being uh, called. And it's on all custom events, so there's nothing more I can do. I'm going to save this, save my trigger, and save my tag. And I'm pretty much set. As you can see here, I have my tag and everything is ready. I can publish. Obviously, with the new um, Google Tag Manager, there is the version control. So we need to give our uh, particular uh, version a name and basically uh, probably say custom dimensions and then get more details, write more details around this, possibly say created uh, custom dimensions and put all the things that we've done, basically visitor uh, is logged, visitor membership type. All right, and finally, uh, visitor is paid member. just for our uh, just for the memory and to remember it and then I hit publish you can also obviously test it if you want but this is basically what is going to happen now every time someone logs into your website the uh, data layer will get created the values will get populated onto those three dimensions which, which we've just created and then they will get pushed onto Google Analytics and then later I can actually go inside of my reporting into the real-time section here and scroll down and be able to find in real time what particular events have been uh, fired and also what particular uh, values have been created for those three new custom dimensions. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want more in-depth videos, make sure you sign up for a free account with webock.com and always subscribe to my channel in order to learn more about Google Tag Manager. And one more thing, very soon we will be producing more videos around Google Analytics. There will be a whole new interface for Google Analytics and we will be on top of it. We will make sure that you learn the latest and the greatest. Have a great day. See you next time.